Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Please go down below before the video begins, give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for a more amazing magic content. I have another very easy to do beginner's card trick. This is the 8th episode in the Magic Secret series, coming right up. So here's the card trick. Your spectators can take the cards, give them a shuffle, you can shuffle them, you can pass the cards around if you're doing a group and have everybody shuffle them, as long as you're happy that the cards have been shuffled. You can also show them that not a single card is exactly the same. That's a normal deck of playing cards. Then what you're going to do is you're going to show them their card, the Queen of Clubs, like I said, it does not matter if the Magician sees the card or doesn't see the card, but that's the card, the Queen of Clubs. Now you're going to take the Queen of Clubs and you're going to lose it in the deck, right there, deck right there. Then you're going to get the card to quick shuffle again, completely losing their card. Get in there, there you go. Like so. Now you're going to reverse shuffle through, like that. And you're going to tell your spectator to tell you when to stop. Right there, okay? There you go, right here, their card. Queen of Clubs. You did not stop me on a random place. No, you stopped me exactly where the Queen of Clubs was. And there is the simple, easy to do card trick and I'm so excited to share it with you coming right up. Now for this trick, it is a normal deck of playing cards. It could be from any brand of playing card company as long as it's a random deck. Like I said, there is no forces used. There's only two steps. One is what they call a double lift and two has different names. I call it a slip force. There's other terminologies for it. So what a double lift is, is on the top of the deck, after you're done shuffling, so we'll go ahead and we'll give the cards a couple shuffles here, is you're going to pick up two cards at once and make it seem like one card. So that looks like this. As you can see, there's two playing cards, but it's lifted up together. So once again, that looks like this and the illusion of one card. So this is the card, the Seven of Spades. The card on top is actually the Queen of Clubs, the card we used in the presentation. So you show that, you put it back down, you're removing that top card, which is the Queen of Clubs, and it's getting inserted into the deck, but you're calling it the Seven of Spades because you want them to think that this is their card when it's not. So once again, you can actually cover this up a little bit, or you can show it in a way that they can't see it. I did that in the presentation when I showed you going in, like that. And then, you're going to shuffle it, leaving this top card, which is the Seven of Spades, on top. You want that to fall last on top of your pile. If you also want to do some false cuts, you can also do that too. This pile here has the card. You can go in like this in like this, in like this, leaving the Seven of Spades on top. Anything, you can shuffle it any way as long as the Seven of Spades stays on top. Now what you're going to do is what's the slip force, or other terminologies for this, is you ripple, sh ripple shuffle through like so, and you're going to tell them when to stop. Right there, what you're going to do is you're going to pick this up in the same motion as you slip their card on top. So now, it looks like it's been cut to the seven of spades. Once again, showing that to you again. Tell me when to stop right there. You can square it up as you slip their card on top. Seven of spades. And there you go. There is the easy to do beginner's card trick. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share it with somebody who you think will like it too. And always subscribe to the channel for more amazing content coming your way been a magical time.